1957, the United States military enlisted the use of carrier pigeons to deliver important messages in times of great duress. In the year 2020, the Rebel Podcast have enlisted their own military pigeon to deliver his messages under these times of great duress. These are those messages, and this is the Pigeonhole. Holy shit! Alright, hello everybody. I have awoken from my slumber. I am the Pidge, and you are listening to the Pigeonhole a show where you can send in some random tweets or random anything basically in the pigeonhole discord on styleverberadio.com you can find it there so it's been a while since i've done this one so we can start out real quick by a post sent by jake schrader we all know jake schrader don't we oh brother this guy stinks all right and it's an oil painting of taco bell you know much respect for oil painting because I know that it does take a long time to dry and it is actually a very nice photo. Uh, if the Baja Blast wasn't there, you could just tell that it's uh, not Taco Bell. So that's really nice and holy crap. I have a lot of posts sent by the doctor. So here we go. It's a post by Disneyland. We're opening late. Got fucked up last night on beer. Are you a frog? We're looking to hire. Yoda is a hamster. Okay, so it's just a bunch of tweets by Disneyland that are just all messed up. So it looks like somebody hacked it, or it's just fake. Um, I'll read off some of them. So it's so many tourists here, as opposed to the people that live in the park. Hmm. Made $45,000 off of a family of four. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Um, we're going to shoot Goofy's ashes out of our t-shirt gun tonight. That's fast. That's fast. Okay. Next post was sent by Style. It's a wrestling meme, everybody. <laughs> surprise, surprise. You hear that lip smack? You hear that ready? There we go. CM Punk with the classic alt girl thirst trap. Oversized shirt is a dress, posing to show off your boots and a cheeky little upskirt. You know, that's very true, actually. I can't tell you how many girls you see that, especially in the Midwest. There's not as much you see out here in the West. Uh, towards the West Coast, you don't really see that much, at least from me. Uh, it's mainly in the Midwest, so that's a fun fact for anybody that's looking for alt girls. Go over to the East Side. Shut up, computer. All right. This next post was sent by Audi, also known as Austin. Thank you, Universal Records and Imagine Dragons, for one of the most transformative, uplifting, and spiritual nights of my life. Oh boy. Every song was better than the last, but by the end, most of the crowd was writhing on the ground in a depraved pit of ecstasy. I have never seen such a rolling mass of joyous bodies, and I saw a man crushed by the weight of dozens of its, of dozens on his back, but he didn't seem to mind, as his skull busted open there with a smile of elation on his face. When the thunder came, it tore the stadium roof open, and I saw thousands of beautiful and terrible angels flooding in, and they took many souls living and dead away with them. And I was <laughs> strapped in my seat as if by chains. And eventually the screaming took my voice and I saw the world cleansed by fire. I saw my own birth and death many times. I was tormented by visions of heaven and hell. And they played all the hits. And the band was simply adorable. And they managed to balance their Mormon faith with being LGBT allies. Whoa. Is Imagine Dragons Mormon? Is that an actually thing? Hey, this actually uh, relates to the next thing that Style sent, which is sent by his father, which uh, he says, uh, wow, slowly but surely all dying. That was his father that sent that. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Style's father looks like John Travolta. The next thing, which is, uh, I'm going to be at Little Caesars. I'm, I'm be at Little Caesars. I see nothing but beautiful women. I no, that's not true. Those five dollar, those are five dollar women right there. All right, this seems to be like a highway sign underneath it where it says, "Stop Snapchatting me, stop dinging me, shut up." Where it says, "Hey teens, buckling up is totes yeets yo." <laughs> oh, that's tubular. Hell yeah, dude. Next one sent underneath. Where's, oh my, okay, it's a pig, okay, it's, it's the White House, and, uh, 
Apparently, there's been a lot of celebrities that have been visiting the White House, unless this is just fake. It's uh, BTS on the top, visiting the White House all in suits. They look like the Asian men in black. Uh, underneath it is Matthew McConaughey speaking. He probably has a lot of wise words to say. And then uh, next week, it's showing Terry Crews, where he has very long hair and he's backed by his bodyguards and he's wearing an American flag like um, American flag shirt and American flag shorts. And it's a cutoff, of course, because it's Terry Crews. Hmm. Oh, boy. So here's something that uh, we're both going to experience live, and I know that Style has been ready for this. And it says, in search of a genuine sugar baby, text me on this number if interested. All right, so I'm gonna do this real quick. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can get it. It's gonna take me a second. It's gonna take me a second. Let me pull up Discord real quick. All right. I'll get back to you on that real quick. Let's go through some others when uh, eventually it pops up. So underneath that, it's damn bro. Kurt Angle knows he can't beat you. Gotta drop that 33.3% three, chance. And the, uh, what is going on here? Why is everything going crazy? Why, I'm sorry, technical issues, my computer's going nuts. But I failed a math test last year because I forgot to add Kurt Angle to the mix. Yeah, buddy. Knows he can't beat you. Samoa Joe. That's the main villain in math course. Man, we got a lot this we got a lot this time, maybe because I've just been gone. But it's a Yahoo Answers thing. What is the plural of Jesus? Is it Jesai? Jesai? Jesus is? Firefox spell checker doesn't recognize any of those. Well, 12 years ago. Well sure, there's only one Jesus now. But I'm writing a story where Jesus gets cloned, and I need to know how to pluralize it. The plural of Jesus. I don't think there is one. I think it's just Jesus, multiple Jesus. Honestly. Huh. There's a sign. This looks like this could be in any Ohio town, where it says, uh, AJ Style turns 45. It's like a billboard. And it says to, uh, time for his colonoscopy. Okay. Yeah, never mind. And it's a digestive, <laughs> digestive health... AJ Styles getting his colonoscopy? That's true. Every man have the fear in their lives that at least one day they're going to get a finger in their ass whether they like it or not. And that's with the colonoscopy. That is very true, everybody. That is very true. Alright, let's see if I can minimize Discord because it popped up. I'm going to hop on to the Styles Mobile Radio page. And I'm going to go onto my section of the pigeonhole after all the, all the bot... Fuck shit gets out of the way. That's the one thing I don't like about Discord is that it just pops up everywhere. All right, all right, all right. There's the pigeonhole. Let's look for this number. There it is. Here we go. I'm gonna text this number in to one da 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 da. I'm bad with technology. I'm gonna say hey, sugar. <laughs> I really hope this is somebody. I just said, hey, sugar, to him. All right, now that we wait for a reply, it's crab boiled in Pepsi Max for two hours served in a baguette. I... I don't care anything about that. That's yeah, beautiful. And someone says, why? Who said, I was tired of the sun, always, bl always blinding me while I'm on the computer. I wanted rain and thought of the best way to do it, and that was to make God cry. Hmm. That's fair. I just smashed my TV in front of 50 guests at my party because Theory has won my TV. My wife just took our kids and said that we were spending the week at the hotel. The show has ruined my life and my party. I can't handle this anymore. Goodbye, WWE. I'm no longer a fan. I mean, you're not a real WWE fan if you don't have that level of commitment. So, and then the last thing, I guess, while we wait for this text, if it doesn't show up throughout any of this time, I'm not getting a text. Um, you might just blue ball all of us, which I think is going to happen. Uh, if you want to see the actual results of the text, I will screenshot it and post it to the Styles Over Radio Discord page. And, um, the final thing that's being sent is by Style, and it says, If you're being made fun of for liking Metallica after Stranger Things 4, don't worry. People who liked them before should be made a fun of too. Style, you do not understand. 
I know he's going to argue this real quick. He might even throw a little segment in where he talks himself or talks about it himself personally. First of all, you're goddamn right I am. I don't give a fuck how old you are or how you found out about Metallica is bad. And like there's this thing and it's been happening for a long time, but recently it's kicked back up. And I talked about this on air, and it's people will argue, oh, Metallica or Megadeth, well, which one's better? Megadeth goes harder. Oh, it's Meta-. Just like decent metal music and decent hard rock music, and it wouldn't be an issue because both of them are trash, especially Metallica. Metallica's bad. It's so basic, and they think they're so fucking hard. But they're not, and James Hetzfield's voice is absolute fucking dog shit, and it's never been good. They made one half-decent album and coasted their entire fucking career on it. It's so goddamn bad dad rock. It's the worst. Oh, it's so bad. It's so fucking bad. They all sound exactly the fucking same, and it's just that terrible, grumbled fucking voice over some power chords. Metallica is bad! They're not badass, they're just bad. But him and I have always been in a quarrel about Metallica. I like Metallica, Style does. Style thinks that they're uh, very boring, very, uh, I guess, dad, dadish. I don't agree on the dad part, but Metallica is very, very, very catchy. It's very good. If you want to you want to get pumped up a little bit if you want to go 130 miles an hour down the street by the freeway and just hit a pole there you go you listen to metallica oh on that final note i'm going to call out a lot of people here a lot of car guys are a bunch of bitches tell me why you would go 130 miles an hour in a car down the highway same with motorcycle cross rocket guys why would you go 130 miles an hour down the highway but you're too afraid to talk to a girl Leaving it at that. This was a pigeonhole. Signing off.